All right, guys, we're here with the Evo. Menji, what are we doing? Uh, we're taking... <laughs> no, edit that out, edit that out. Yeah, yeah, I can edit it. All right, so we're uh, taking the stock wing out, uh, and we're gonna put the Evo 9 wing. Um, we're gonna see how it looks. Right now, I'm just fucking cleaning it off. So far, so good. Very Here's nice. a stock wing down here. It's just, what, it was like three bolts, two bolts on the bottom there's, and one bolt on uh, top. There's three tens on each side. Yeah. And then these little metal pieces you have to bend up. And then there's the stock wing on. Laying on the ground. See how it looks without a spoiler. It actually looks kinda mean to be honest. It looks like a looks like a lancer. It is a lancer. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and here's the, the Evo 9, the Evo 8 slash 9 wing down here. Got the uh, carbon fiber interiors and the carbon fiber blade in the middle. Gonna put it together and slap it on there and see how it looks. This great part, I just need to get painted. Other than that, it's all carbon fiber. And then we have uh, with some stickers in here and another fun surprise. Carbon fiber gas cap cover. And got a lot of other parts that I'll be posting up on Instagram. But that's all that's going on probably tonight. And I, I haven't made a video about it yet, but here's the uh, the Rally Art carbon fiber shorty antenna. Which if you guys follow my Instagram, you'll see all these. I post up usually whenever I put a part on or get a part. Just kind of keep you guys up to date. But I don't make YouTube videos about every single part because some of them are such small additions, but the wing is definitely worth a video. So here's the comparison of the stock antenna compared to the shorty antenna. It looks so much better. It's got the little rally art logo on the end there, right here too. And then I got the black metal. You can get different colors for this metal piece right here. I got the black just so it looks clean. And it looks nice on this carbon fiber Voltex generator, Vortex generator. And, oh shit, Benji, I actually haven't put the, I actually haven't put the new bumper painted in a video yet. All right. So this will be the reveal, I guess, right here. I just accidentally revealed the Varus bumper painted. So we got it fitted by the body shop and painted. Uh, my car is filthy right now, of course, but you know, the bumper looks mad aggressive. Got the uh, carbon fiber license plates around back on there. And they also built a bracket for the license plate lights to fit up there because before they were just hanging. So I'll need to change those out for um, some ice white or some like blue tint license plate lights instead of the yucky yellow ones. Um, yeah, exhaust is coming soon too. Getting that uh, titanium exhaust. Is that a Tome? Tome, I got a Tome uh, test pipe, ETS open dump down pipe, all waiting inside the house. I'm excited for the cat back though. I might go with either I'm thinking Tommy, probably Tommy, maybe RK Titanium because he makes a three and a half inch single exit titanium, but it's a little pricey. We'll see. Do you have my keys? I don't. Damn, why did I put them? They're, uh... Oh yeah, let me show off this thing real quick too. Got this new key fob cover also. Of course, carbon fiber. I'm sensing a trend here, Menji. Yeah? Yeah. Carbon fiber in blue. Looks pretty dope. Got a little bride racing seat on there. And a little wrench from O'Reilly's Auto Parts. They gave that to me for free. I won it at a raffle at a car meet. I should have brought, brought my GoPro, honestly. But I was gonna show you guys something I added in here, just a small little addition. I don't know how well you can see it. Oh, you can barely make it on the video, but I have some pictures of it up on Instagram. It's a, uh, the ignition knob. I got this metal, this metal one, uh, blue color. Looks way better than the stock plastic one. It feels way more solid too when you're turning on and off the car. That's about it. Hey guys, so I finally have the wing on the Evo and it looks pretty awesome. Um, here's the box that came in. Now, it's not an actual uh, Mitsubishi part. It's the Evo 8.9 style wing, but it's made by Viz. 
you know, Viz Racing. Um, so I'll just show you how it goes on. It's not perfect, but. All right, so basically the stock wing has three bolts. Um, one, one up here, one down here, and then one that you access from the top. Up there, you gotta pop up a cover on the top and then you can get to it. Um, same thing on each side, so a total of six bolts. Now for this wing, this one lined up perfectly. The one down here didn't line up to a hole. The hole was over to the side, so I had to drill into the end plate here and put the screw on. Now this one doesn't want to stay. It's kind of loose, so I've taped it down, which is a no ratchet, but this one's plenty tight. Now over on this side, this one fit perfect, and then this one I had to drill a hole, and I was able to get this one to tighten down fine. So basically three out of four screws are holding it on right now. Uh, that screw isn't doing very much. Now up on top, let me first, let me first get a uh, far away look at the wing so you can actually see what it looks like. So you can tell it's an Evo 8, uh, 9 wing, way boxier than the Evo X stock wing. Um, I like the look, I know a lot of people say it doesn't fit with the Evo 10, but I think it's really unique. I've only seen like two or three Evos with the 8, 9 wing. Um, now you can get the actual 8, 9 wing, which is hard to find, the Mitsubishi one, or you can get uh, Sieben or Sieben Carbon, whatever, Sieben Carbon, however you say their name. They make an all carbon fiber one where the end plates are carbon fiber too. I don't know how the fitment is on that. I'm assuming it's pretty good, um, but I know some people have complained about their company before, but I've heard good stuff also. Um, this one is made by Viz. Now I got this for $150 shipped, so it was dirt cheap. So even though it's not perfect, I'm about to show you, even though it's not perfect, it was super cheap, so I'm still happy with it. Um, and I'm gonna get the ends painted, obviously, they're gray, but I'm gonna get them color matched, just like my uh, my Varus V2 bumper down here. Now this side, no complaints. Um, as you can see, it fit pretty well. So basically these carbon parts come off and there's hardware underneath there. So two brackets that you put on that don't fit that great, but I was able to get it to fit pretty good on this side. Now this side, terrible. Um, as you can see, there's like this giant gap right here. Um, it just doesn't look very good. And the other side has a gap too, not quite as bad. But this side just did not want to fit. I tried moving the brackets all around and stuff. Um, it just didn't want to work. But the carbon plate kind of covers up a little bit of that. So it is real carbon fiber on the ends here. And the blade itself is real carbon fiber. Um, the carbon looks great except right here. I don't know how well you can see that. But there's an imperfection in the weave. But overall, the carbon looks really good. Um, I haven't noticed any major problems with it. Obviously, it's filthy right now because my fingerprints are all over it. Um, but yeah. Now, as far as the trunks go. <clears throat> now, this trunk, I'm not going to be keeping. Uh, the stock trunk, I'm going to be selling it along with my stock wing. Now, as you can see, there's still a hole right here from the third bolt from the stock wing on each side. And there's a bit of tape here that's taping a bracket where there was a bolt right there too. So the trunk looks kind of trash right now, but I'm going to be getting a carbon fiber trunk. I originally wanted to get a carbon fiber ducktail trunk with a ducktail that comes out and then keep the wing on top, but I don't think the ducktail will clear the wing right here. I mean, I think the ducktail starts like all the way out here at the edge of the trunk. So I just don't think it would work with this wing. So I might instead just get an uh, OEM style trunk. Like, so the same shape trunk, but carbon fiber. Uh, and then I would obviously have to drill the wing into the trunk which would be mad sketch, but you know, I think if I do it right, I do it carefully, I could get it to work. Um, so I think the carbon trunk with this carbon spoiler with the end, end plates here color matched, I think it'll look really sick and really aggressive. Um, and then that along with the, uh, the various rear bumper that I have and the mud flaps and stuff, I think the rear end's gonna really shape up and start looking a lot better. Um, I put my carbon fiber, uh, put my carbon fiber uh, license plates around on back on now. So I've got one on the front and one on the back I'm gonna be changing out the license plate lights to be like white or blue instead of the yucky yellow uh, As far as exhaust goes, I have The ETS downpipe the Tomy test pipe. I'm getting the Tomy single exit cat back. So it'll be coming out over there um, Another thing I don't know if I've got on video I got from Rex speed the carbon fiber uh, license plate cover or license plate uh, gas cap cover so I'm really happy with that. That took like all of two minutes to put on. Uh, looks great. Got the Rally Art carbon fiber shorty antenna up here. The Rally Art logo. 
I think that looks way better compared to the old one. Um, got this carbon fiber uh, key fob, and then I also got a uh, ignition knob back here, a metal one, a blue metal one instead of the OEM black plastic. And I think that's about all I've done to my car since I've been back, uh, with the exception of like air fresheners and a lot more stickers and things like that. Uh, the whole roof is gonna be full of stickers eventually. Um, but that's about it. That's about all I've done to my car recently. Um, so I still have a ton of parts to go on the car. Um, I have endless amount of parts I want to order, you know, the, I don't know if my Evo build will ever truly be done. Um, something I want to do in the future when my Evo is paid off and I'm making more money, I really want to build a drift car. Uh, so I'm stuck between a 350Z or a 240SX, but that'll be a few years in the future, definitely. Um, and you know, by then I might have kids, so the Evo might be my only build for a while. But that would be down the line. I'd love to have my Evo completed and a drift car that I'm working on. Um, but before doing everything to my Evo is going to be like years and years and years. There's so much I want to do to it. So I just love doing these tiny little upgrades, building it one piece at a time. Um, if you guys aren't following my Instagram, please go follow it. It's at the underscore slow underscore Evo underscore X. And then I have a few other Instagram accounts I run. All of them are in the description of this video. Um, every single tiny little thing I do to my car, even like those that antenna or any small little mods or pieces I get, I always update my Instagram. So if I don't make a whole YouTube video about it, it'll definitely be on there. So if you wanna follow the build in detail, I would uh, follow the Instagram. Um, also, you guys have probably noticed, I have finally started making gaming videos again. It feels great to be back playing video games. Um, I'm not gonna be able to play all the time like I used to. I'm definitely gonna try my best to make gaming videos whenever I have some free time. Um, so I'm gonna try to keep those pretty regularly uploaded and then do car videos every once in a while too. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.